Hey. So I guess we could start with face jumping. So face jumping is essentially triggers for us. We call it triggers. The developers call them phases. This means we can teleport to any point in the game that includes a trigger. It's really... yeah, the menu looks a little bleh. But it works, so it doesn't matter. So let's just say if you want to practice the roller coaster trick for whatever reason, you want to teleport to this trigger. So just like that, I can actually teleport at the very moment that we <clears throat> engage with the tank trigger, which is right before the stairs. So as you can see up top, there's yellow text, right? That's when you hit the trigger. So whenever you hit the trigger, that yellow text changes. So I'm just gonna do this. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna infinite double jump. So the yellow text is gonna change. As you can see, now it's park roller coaster. So you hit that trigger. So whenever you hit the trigger, the yellow text changes. Pretty cool. I don't know. So there's some, there's some test stuff in this that the developers use, and they don't work. I don't think any of them work, actually. So if you teleport to this, you're gonna break the game, essentially. By pressing page up and page down, you can access these menus. So the first one is this one. It gives you map position, it gives you... Let me just lower down the music. Jeez. It gives you the map position, it gives you the hit, the triggers. I'm not sure what that R150 is. Also, this Chinese text right here, Japanese. This means out of bounds, by the way. This, this means out of bounds. I'm not sure why it translates into out of bounds. This is state clear. Roughly translated is state clear. Not sure what it does, but yeah. Go to flight edit. There's a built-in camera menu, uh, mode, I guess. You can essentially go to any place in the map. It's pretty cool. Now I'm in a flight unit, because why not? It's very hard to control this, actually. So save data, item data. You can add I any item in the game. It's all Japanese, but You can essentially get any item in the game, just get over here and press add all. There you go, you have one item, at least from this particular section, on your inventory. Player data. You can change your Neville, just like that. So full is all the work that you had to found, find those values. There you go. You could have just got the debug build and get all those values. That's how I corrected your values, by the way. Skill data, you can add any pod skill. Not sure what this is. This is, yeah, this is chips. So this is a gigantic, really confusing list, but yeah. So as you can see, the weapons. So let me show you a trick to know which weapons are which. So let me teach you. So if you go to the, to this page, this page, page 14, called Performance. So you can scroll through these using your keyboard. So if you press arrow down, then you can press right arrow. Now it shows you a list of weapons that are located in a particular zone. So if you press enter, you can teleport to those weapons. So weapon or WP-3000 is your pod. WP-0222 is a weapon that is not even shown. Essentially, these weapons are like probably in chests or hidden. I don't know. But you want to see the weapons that are equipped. So it flashes red. So WP0260 is uh, Virtuous 3D. So you can just go ahead. Yes, it also has pod levels. You can go ahead and change your pod on the bottom right here. 
Yes, your regular save is the same as the debug build, by the way. So all you do uh, on the debug build will also tr um, transport to your actual original save file. It's all saved in the documents folder. So you can change it here, go back to your original game, and there you go. You don't need to import anything, it just automatically changes. E 260, 260, right here. So you can go ahead, let's make it level 1. Now it should be instantaneously level 1. As you can see, now it's level 1. Now if you want, you can put it back to whatever level you want. So 260, put it level 4. So cheat engine, there's no need for that anymore because you can just do this. Now it's level 4. If you want to exit this camera mode, just go back to flag, uh, flag, uh, flag edit and disable camera mode. Also, 9S is red now. So you can change whatever. You can change your progress data. You can change your play record. Your trophy achievement. I can just disable every achievement I have. Oh no, I don't have any achievements. Oh, that's too bad. Well, wait. It's not too bad because I can just go. Now I have every fucking achievement. So pause maps. Uh, I got really confused on what pause maps were, but pause maps are save points. So you can add and disable any uh, save point. Now you can just go ahead and go to pause map and disable it. So the amusement park one is this one. So these are scene states. So this is good for you, Fullest, by the way. This is essentially every quest in the game. I can just complete any quest in the game with a push of a button. So the game is gonna break now, so brace yourselves. Ay. So now... I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, I'm next to Emil for some reason. Now, oh, wait, I completed this quest? I wanna replay it. Sure. Sure, you can just do that. Let's just... Boop. Fuck that. And everything breaks. Holy fucking shit. You can, out, you can save at any point in the game. So if you have a... If you want to have like a custom save. Only accessible for, through debug build. As you can see you have now 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is safe, and this is load. So you can save right here if you want. There you go, now it's saved. And then you can just load it. Like that. <clears throat> At any point. So no need to Alt F4 anymore. So there's the debug player menu. So this is infinite double jump. And there's no no, there's no, no, uh, no clip. Cheat engine doesn't work for this version, by the way. It has different different addresses. So what you have is pretty much double jump, I guess. There's no no clip, which is whatever. This is super speed, I believe. Oh no, it's this one. Me. Gotta go fast. Uh, you can play as an A2 as well. So if you if you enable this. You phase jump. Make sure you, ch you change your route C, and you should be um, <clears throat> should be able to play as a two. As you can see, the paw is still not here. I'm not sure what this is, by the way. Trial mode. And there's also this. This is really funny. This is how they tested probably movement and combat. A score mode so you can essentially get more score the more enemies that you kill <laughs> I'm not sure what this is it looks so looks so alpha I guess alpha so debug mode I guess so there's also this event test uh, this is so basically they call the cutscenes events so this is a way for them to test every single cutscene in the game so you can change the voice, the UI, 
and you can change yeah there you go so those files that you see in your folder like EV they're called events so you can play any cutscene you just a way for them to test useless but intriguing so by default pot C will be disabled for some reason it always will be disabled so if you want to have your extra pot you need to go here and enable it it's okay it's not really a pain to do that so if I wanna if I'm a modder if you're a modder this is really good for you because now you can go ahead and go to EM and now you can just you can actually see what's the actual uh, the actual file name for each enemy for for example the speedy guy is EMB 033 even the bird <laughs> even the bird <laughs> EMA 021 this opened give me a sec if you have this open if you jump you freeze the game to be to bunker come in oh you just uh, let me just confirm the And there it is. <laughs> well, and it's gone.